In this video, we kick off our big ass New Zealand roadie. Buckle up as we hit the road from the bustling city of Auckland to the vibrant capital, Wellington. Join us as we cruise through charming towns, rolling hills, and maybe a scenic stop or two. Fasten your seatbelts, hold on tight, and let's go. It's 10 past 6 in the morning and it's time to get this adventure started. We have a full tank. We put in $100 worth of petrol. Car's packed. Dad, mom, <laughs> and Craig's driving. Yee! Let's go. We just crossed over from Auckland into Waikato. Our first wrong turn of the trip came in just one hour in. We were very desperate for coffee and we saw a sign saying to take an off ramp. That took us all the way to Huntley. So that is like just a little detour and then we'll go back onto the highway. But it's really beautiful. We're surrounded by mountains next to the Waikato River. We don't have coffee but we have the views. We spotted a wild bean. Yay, coffee time. Skipping wild bean to go to Robert Harris because that is the coffee we buy. We have traveled about 100 kilometers and now it's time for coffee. Thank you Robert Harris for great coffee because we always buy it. <laughs> I know it's only been one hour but there's been so many rest stops actually. This one is a good yes. one. We wanted to put in a bit of distance before we start. Got a coffee, now it's time to get back on the road. Let's go! There were some policemen standing there and heard that we're on a road trip and they're like, safe travels and so nice. They were very friendly. So friendly. We are traveling on State Highway 1 from Auckland all the way to Wellington. It's been pretty good. The surface is good, it's dual carriageway, so easy to overtake. We just passed Cambridge and we saw a sign saying that the expressway is about to end. So we'll see what the roads are like after that because it's been really really nice so far we can see beautiful mountains in the distance but we are a little bit worried that when we come back we're not gonna think that they're huge mountains anymore after being to beautiful South Island so <laughs> we're appreciating it now well it still looks really impressive <laughs> So that's a cute little town, We're also with lots of coffee shops and petrol stations and it takes about 5 minutes to drive through, but it looks quite quirky. Even though we've been in New Zealand for more than a year, the farthest south we've been was Hobbiton. So we've officially traveled now the most south we've ever been. We're just going through another small town, the name is Putaruru. This town is a bit bigger than the others. You can see there's a big residential area, they have more shops. This might be a good place to stop also, if you want. Are alive, the sound of music. Sing from the chest, baby. <laughs> We are 30 minutes away from Taupo and the scenery is incredible. There's all these trees like just on this massive hill. Actually there's massive hills everywhere with lots of trees everywhere. It's misty and it just looks really magical. It's so beautiful. It's 9.30 and we just saw the sign saying welcome to Taupo! Taupo! So the BP just before Taupo we put in 22 liters almost of petrol. It costs $2.72. We're doing pretty well. Petrol is a bit cheaper than Auckland, yeah. We have filled up and drove a little bit further to a scenic lookout here in Taupo, and it's beautiful.
If you're not from South Africa, I think it's time to teach you an uh, Afrikaans word, patkos. So it's when you pack your own food, the direct translation is road food. <laughs> but what do we have here? I've already dived into the macaroni and cheese bites. Pretty good. And there we have a little bit of potato, some boiled eggs and chicken at the bottom. And my homemade red pepper and um, feta sauce, which is good. Nice dip. So the car is filled with fuel and so are we. It's 10.30 and it's time to hit the road again. And we're so excited for whatever lies ahead. ground right next to the lake you cannot get closer Yo. and it's full 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 Our lookout point there in Taupo, it's been bucketing down like crazy. So just taking it really easy on these roads. If you're thinking when you should take a nap as a passenger on this roadie, I would suggest this stretch that we're on right now. So when you leave all the views behind of Lake Taupo, it's beautiful. There's lots of trees and it's very green, but not as scenic so far. It's been about half an hour already. It's quite nice that there are slow vehicle lanes. So every now and again, you've got the overtaking lanes, so the slower cars can pull over, the faster cars can go past. Went through some kind of a pass and on the other side of it or at the top of it the landscape has changed completely there aren't any big trees it's like little bosses or little bushes <laughs> what was the english <laughs> like shrubs everywhere this road is called desert road and it's a very good description of what we're actually seeing i've never seen a sudden change like that from trees to shrubs so not like botswana looks like botswana we have not seen any kind of landscape like this in New Zealand yet. We just stopped really quickly in the desert road just to take it all in. So it's flat, 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 lots of shrubs and stuff and then these big mountains in the distance. It's crazy. After that really strange landscape, we are descending now again, being surrounded by hills and mountains and the New Zealand we know. <laughs> That was really cool though. Oh, go. We did a quick bathroom break in the town just after that desert road. And are we hitting the road again? We have three hours left before we hit Wellington. This town actually looks really cute. I don't know if it's because the sun is out. There's a few bakeries and sushi shops and a lot. We stopped at a picnic site, but we just want to see the views actually and for the first time today I'm actually getting hot. Craig is at the top of the viewpoint and he's saying wow. <laughs>
regretting not eating the rest of our fight course at the last viewpoint. There's nothing really close by anymore, so we've had to come into this town called Martin, and we at this Freona Park. I found it on maps, so we had to come in. It's three k's off the highway. There's a beautiful duck pond, so this is where we're going to have a bit of lunch right now. So we finished the putt course, we finished the chicken, we've got some eggs, since I was mom busy making herself a nice egg omelette over there. And then <laughs> Egg omelette! <laughs> Almost. <laughs> This was actually a really nice lunch spot. I mean, look at all these birdies. We're gonna hit the road. It's about two hours to Wellington now. Welcome to the town called Bulls. This is Sanson. Welcome to Foxton. Welcome to Levin. Or Levine? I don't know. Till we get to Wellington and thought we'd stop one last time for a bathroom break. The road in this town is so busy and it's actually quite a nice town. Hustling and bustling compared to the others. Oh, coffee. <laughs> Stoked. As we left that town, we started to see the dramatic landscapes again with the mountains and the mist and it's beautiful. I thought I'd just tell you about all the service stations. There were quite a few big ones and then at one stage you just have to stop at like petrol stations in all the small towns but I'm very impressed because they're in a really good condition actually. Yes, the bathrooms were nice and clean, everything worked and I'm very impressed. And also the petrol prices, the further away from the city you are, the cheaper it is by a lot. And the Z in Auckland city is over three dollars a litre. So. Come on, Auckland. <laughs> 73 k's out of Wellington and the expressway started again. Whoop, whoop. It's been about eight hours since we've seen an expressway. <laughs> <laughs> it's half past three and we have really taken our time to do this drive with a lot of stops, but that is the point of a roadie. This part of the highway is so beautiful. Big mountains right next to us, but the mist is so thick. It's reminding us of when we used to live in Hilton, South Africa. Hi, Majestic Princess. We saw you in Auckland. We checked into the hotel, we got two rooms, they're right next to each other on the sixth floor. We're actually going to end part one here, so if you want to see what this accommodation looks like and what our two nights in Wellington looks like, you'll have to watch the next video. But let's give you a quick recap of our trip. We travelled about 654 kilometres and I would say we used a full tank of petrol, which is about 40 litres to get here, which is I'd say close to 100, just over 100 and. $20 probably. Drive went good, pretty easy and yeah I think we did pretty well with the petrol. We'll work it out to our consumption and put it on the screen. Be, be, <laughs> yeah. So if you have time to actually drive down to Wellington from Auckland instead of flying we would highly recommend it because it's an adventure and you get to see parts of the country that you won't normally see. But thank you for watching this one and we are so excited for this big ass New Zealand roadie series. So we hope you keep watching and traveling with us. See you in the next one, bye. Bye. We've got two in the front, two in the back. One nothing, one nothing, something. Okay. It keeps going, What did you think? I'm me. <laughs>
Does that make sense? Do you want to say it in a better way? No, I think you nailed it. <laughs> Ooh, views. Wow. Ready, boomers? Yes. <laughs> Are you ready, millennial? Is this what they mean with typical Wellington weather? Have Where's you ever that? caught an Uber before? Couldn't catch it, just too fast for me. Finally, we get to our official first stop of the day, and it's the. Hold on! 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 Hold on!